Touch the mobile payment service Venmo handles hundreds of billions of dollars in transactions every year, but one woman's Venmo account got shut down after the company said she violated its policies. She says she only used the app to send money to family and friends. WMAR News Mallory Safaste is working to get to the bottom of it because if it matters to you, it's a matter for Mallory. Sudek had hundreds of dollars sitting in her account when she lost access. She tried to get a hold of customer support but wasn't getting any help. And when she told her family and friends about what was going on, several said they had the same thing happen to them. A simple way to settle up. Venmo made it easy for Susanna Sudek to pay someone back or send cash to her kids. The next day after I sent her the $200, I got an email that said I had suspicious activity on my account. In March, the app froze her account. So I called in and they said that I needed to send in proof of who I was and I needed to send a copy of my driver's license and then a picture of myself holding my driver's license, which I did. A few days later, she was permanently deactivated. An email stated her actions and activity were in violation of the user agreement. I couldn't understand. I didn't do anything wrong. She kept emailing and calling. Venmo wouldn't reverse the decision or give her the money still in her account. They took my money. They didn't give me any explanation. They just said, I, you know, your account is deleted and you didn't follow the rules. Susanna then came to us and we asked Venmo, what did she do wrong? And as soon as you stepped in, they came back with answers and said, oh, let's reevaluate this. Let's look further into this, see what happened. But they never gave me an explanation. They didn't give us one either and declined to comment on this story. However, Susanna received this email confirmation. Her account was incorrectly deactivated and steps have been taken to complete coaching with the agent she was in communications with. Because I spoke to three different people and all three people kept saying, I didn't follow the rules. I didn't do what I was supposed to do. A month after being kicked off, she's now back on the app, her balance restored, but she's warning other users to cash out once any money hits their account. Use it. You know, the app works well, but don't leave your money in there because if something you didn't even do happens, they, there's, you know, they have all the control. Shut your account down and take your money. Remember, Venmo should only be used with people you know and trust. Personal accounts may not be used to pay or accept money from anyone you don't personally know for goods or services. Venmo can also hold money in your account for up to 180 days if you violated their acceptable use policy. That's Mallory Safaste reporting, and if you have a matter for Mallory, she'd love to hear from you. You can email her at Mallory at WMAR.com or just find her on Facebook and Twitter. More to more of Good Morning Maryland coming up right after this.